Odyssey Ears, it's your boy Mike Martins. All right, everyone's asking about survival radio, a good radio to have on the side, a good short-range radio that could pick up all kinds of different international stations, which I have picked up on this. You got to be very patient with it. So this is what the box looks like, everyone was asking. So I've had it for two weeks now, and I've been listening to um, talk radio and emergency broadcast stations just to see what happen you know, what's happening or what's going on. They're just talking about mainly about road conditions when you go to here under weather band. It's got a weather band with seven different frequency, uh, seven different frequencies you could pick up on there. And you could set it there to the weather band. Uh, there's your off, there's your battery, there's your there's your solar. Yeah, it's got solar, and I'll show you that in a second. So this is what the box looks like. It's got all, all the goodies you need in one little package. So let me get a pen here so you can kind of see the size. It's actually pretty, it's pretty big for what it is and for what it offers. It's got a decent size. It's got good weight to it. That's what I like about it. It feels heavy. Now... Up top here, you'll see a nice fancy uh, strap. Then over here, you got your, what is that, emergency lights? Something should be flashing there. And you got, there you go. You got the light up front. So the other one does no, doesn't do much, but that one does that. This one gives you a light, and it gives you the tuner light here, which is so good. So at night in bed, when I'm just... Farting around with this, I like to go around and through the different bands and different stations and to try and pick up more international stations here. And over here, uh, it's got solar. Yes, it has solar. So you need you could turn it to solar and it charges. Now, the solar panel is really cool because it opens up. Look at that. It even has a light. On it. That's what that other light was for. Okay, I wasn't sure what that was for. Okay, so then you could set this up to to basically pick up your sun. Your sun gets picked up through here and obviously charges your batteries. I haven't charged charged it with my solar yet, but I will give it a try. And you have your crank. So if you're out of batteries, you're out of power, you're out of everything, you could always crank it 40, 50 times to give it some power. I did use the crank motion before I plugged in the batteries and the battery worked for about, I cranked it I think 45 times, if I recall, and I got about 22 minutes maybe 18 minutes of radio power, which is really good for not having anything on hand. So let's turn that off. There's your solar panel. Now let me show you the batteries on how cool this battery system works. So you take it off like this. There's your rechargeable batteries, okay? So it comes with rechargeable batteries and you could put your standard AA batteries in there, just like so. And then here, I think I, I think I didn't have to, I don't think I charged this when I got it because the battery came unplugged and I figured that it was, um, and there's your uh, USB uh, charger there and it's got that, that's for the charger and then there's a USB there if you want to charge your phone and then you got that for just power from the wall, like a AC adapter. So it comes with, and it comes with your antenna. So this is for an antenna guys. And I do have an antenna that I might do a review on. I'm not too sure. But the antenna, put it up on your window. It go. I think it's like a 15-foot antenna. Speaking of antenna, the antenna on this one goes easily, I don't know, maybe a, two feet from the bottom, maybe a foot and a half from the, from the start of the antenna. It does make a difference because when I am on the AM stations, I notice it makes a huge difference. So if you want to pick up gossip or you want to pick up um, discussion and stuff, always go to AM. So I'm going to, so you could set it off here. So I'm going to set it to battery right there. Yeah. So right there. And I'm going to go to, uh, let me see here. Uh, where's a AM? So let's see what we got. We got, that's the AM. Oh, I think I'm losing power. I got the alert on. I got the crank on. Yeah, it looks like I'm losing battery power, guys. Yeah. Yeah, when you hear that machine gun noise, yeah, you could tell. 
it is losing power. But let's see what I could what what mode I could put it in. And AM is always tough to catch because AM stations are really far away. And I picked up a few really good AM stations the other day. I was listening to Coast to Coast with George Norrie. Yeah, I'm getting that machine gun. You hear that? That noise is very simple. It means your battery, we are out. Battery is on its last leg. LEDs could work off the battery for a while, but I'm gonna crank her up and get her working for you guys. All right, so I got it working now. I cranked it up. I'm still getting that machine gun noise, but that's okay. Hockey. Uh, a new series of U.S. sales milestones, in fact, the recording industry. So, let's see if we catch any AM bands here. With the AM bands, I notice you need the antenna up because sometimes you're hundreds and thousands of miles away, depending on... There we go. I can hear some noise. Let's put it right here on my scale. Let's crank it up. I catch a lot of Los Angeles radio stations here. So you got to be really patient with the AM dial because it's it works. You just got to be very patient with it. I do have an uh, an extender for this antenna. It's a wire. It goes up to your window on a suction cup, and it gives you a lot better band. But this is really good for emergencies. I just cranked this. The battery was dead. You saw it. It wouldn't even play. Now we got it working. I wouldn't even play on FM too. So I wonder how long it would work on the FM dial with just with, with the crank. That's terrible. Let me see here. I'm way out in the country, so... The next major city is pretty far. We catch them over here, way over here. That's hockey. Right wing side for Ben Ward. Ward shot, scores! Yeah, you want to go to these world dials here. You want to go to SW1 and SW2, but you need your... You, to get on this one, the weather bands work, you just gotta be patient. But to get on this one here, the SW1 and 2, you need an extender. You need the wire to extend your antenna because you're picking up Singapore. Uh, I was catching radio stations in Japan. The other day I was farting around with it and I was catching all kinds of cool stuff. It's not expensive, I picked this up on Amazon for about 65 bucks. It's got the weight to it, like I said. It's got the solar panel to it, it's got all the charging mechanisms to it it may save your life one day it might keep you in line or you might keep you ahead of your enemy the government it might keep you ahead of what they're trying to lie to you or where they are or where their positions sometimes it may be over the radio to get help go to this camp and we'll feed you and you want to stay away from that let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below there it is the voyager reinvented radio the ka 500 voyager emergency radio let me know, comment below. Thanks for watching. People have been asking about this, so I made a video.